The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast provided in part by the Calvert County Communications and Media Relations Division. Commissioner's Reports provides highlights from the Calvert County Board of County Commissioners, county government departments, and key government agencies. Commissioner's Reports covers regional happenings affecting Calvert County citizens, upcoming community events, and news. Hello, and welcome to Commissioner's Reports. I'm your host, Kevin G. Schmidt. In this week's Calvert County Board of Commissioners meeting, Proclamations, Northern High School Wrestling State Champion, Brianna Holcomb, a junior from Northern High School, won the 2021-2022 Maryland Public Secondary School Athletic Association Championship for wrestling in the 125-pound class. Brianna also won the 3A South Region Championship, placed first in the girls 127 to 134 division at the 20th annual War on the Shore Wrestling Tournament, and received an honorable mention by the Washington Post for the 2021-2022 Winter All Met Wrestling. Northern High School Wrestling State Champion Emma Hardman. Emma Hardman, a freshman from Northern High School, won the 2021-2022 Maryland Public Secondary School Athletic Association Championship for wrestling in the 120-pound class. During the 2021-2022 school year, Emma also won the 3A South Region Championship, as well as placing third in the girls' 122-128 division at the 20th Annual War on the Shore Wrestling Tournament. Huntingtown High School shot put state champion, Adam Satanic. Adam Satanic from Huntingtown High School won the 2021-2022 Maryland Public Secondary School Athletic Association 3A State Track and Field Shot Put Championship. Huntingtown High School discus state champion, Aiden Walker. Aiden Walker from Huntingtown High School won the 2021-2022 Maryland Public Secondary School Athletic Association 3A State Track and Field Discus Championship. The BOCC congratulates and extends best wishes and continued success to Brianna, Emma, Adam, and Aiden in their future endeavors. Maryland by Local Week, Calvert County Agriculture, Aquaculture, Forestry, and Wild Harvest Watermen provide high quality, locally grown and harvested products. Local farmers, foresters, and watermen link the past to the present and are vital to the county's economy, environment, and quality of life. Calvert County is committed to promoting local agriculture enterprise and calls upon all citizens to choose products produced and harvested in the region's farmlands and waterways each day, but especially during the last full week of July. The BOCC proclaimed the week of July 22nd through July 31st, 2022, be known as Buy Local Week in Calvert County. Public Hearing Department of Community Resources Emergency Rental Assistance Program Grant Amendment To date, via an agreement dated March 28, 2022, the BOCC has received $1,239,878 for ERAP2. These funds enable the county to provide rental assistance and utility assistance, other housing-related financial assistance, and housing stability services to people who are homeless or at risk of being homeless in accordance with the terms and conditions of the agreement. The Maryland Department of Housing and Community Development has awarded the BOCC an additional $850,000 in emergency rental assistance to eligible households. To implement this program, the associated grant amendment needed to be signed and forwarded to the DHCD. Staff recommended and the BOCC voted to sign the grant amendment. Appointments Diana Wharton and Amber Yates were appointed to the Calvert County Commission for Women. Four vacancies remain. In new business, Department of Planning and Zoning and the Department of Technology Services request for budget adjustment. The Department of Planning and Zoning and Department of Technology Services are in the process of implementing a new software, DigiPlan, which allows concurrent permit and application reviews by multiple internal and external organizations, thereby increasing efficiency and reducing application time. Staff requested and the BOCC approved the FY 2022 Budget Adjustment 390 for $126,195. In a consent calendar, Department of Public Safety Joint Memorandum of Understanding with Commandant, Naval District of Washington for transferring cellular and landline 911 calls to the designated Navy Regional Dispatch Center for all calls that originate from Solomon's Navy Recreation Center. Department of Community Resources, FY23 Calvert County Family Network Agreement. Calvert County Health Department 
Home Visiting Hybrid for high-risk moms formalizes and expands efforts in a collective impact approach to provide case management, behavioral health support, maternal, and reproductive health services. And Home Visiting, using the healthy families and parents as teachers' curriculums. Department of Community Resources, FY23 Calvert County Family Network Agreement, Calvert County Public Schools, Home Visiting Hybrid for High-Risk Moms, a full-time family service worker, will provide intensive weekly home visiting services to high-risk moms using the parents as teachers' evidence-based curriculum. These consent calendar items were adopted as presented. The next regularly scheduled meeting of the Board of County Commissioners will be held August 2nd, 2022 at 10 a.m. In other Calvert County local news, the Calvert County Department of Public Works Solid Waste Division will host a free tire recycling event for Calvert County residents on Saturday, July 30th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. The recycling event will be held at the Appeal Landfill located at 401 Sweetwater Road in Lusby. All tires must be less than five feet in diameter and clear of water and dirt. Only 10 tires per vehicle will be permitted at a time and residents are limited to one trip. No commercial vehicle tires will be accepted at this event. Proof of residency is required. For more information about recycling events, call the Calvert County Department of Public Works Solid Waste Division at 410-326-0210 or visit www.calvertcountymd.gov forward slash recycle. 2022 Primary Election Voting Information the Maryland primary election will be held Tuesday, July 19th, 2022. Voters may cast their ballot at their assigned polling center on Tuesday, July 19th, 2022, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. The least crowded time to vote on election day is typically between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Citizens can find their polling place, which is based on their election precinct, by visiting voterservices.elections.maryland.gov forward slash polling place search. Same-day voter registration will be available at all polling centers on primary election day with proof of residency. To prove where you live, bring an MVA-issued license, ID card, or change of address card, or your paycheck, bank statement, utility bill, or other government document with your name and address. Mail-in ballots must be postmarked no later than July 19th in order to be counted. Mail-in ballots may also be submitted using one of the four secure ballot drop boxes located throughout Calvert County at the Southern Community Center in Lusby, the Community Resources Building in Prince Frederick, the Fairview Vote Center behind the Calvert Library Fairview Branch in Owings, and the Northeast Community Center in Chesapeake Beach. Ballots must be submitted before 8 p.m. on Tuesday, July 19th. Drop boxes are under 24-7 video surveillance and are emptied daily by the election board staff. For local information and updates on the 2022 election, visit the Calvert County Board of Elections website at calvertcountymd.gov forward slash vote. That concludes our broadcast. The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast. Stay current with other news in Calvert County by following and liking the Calvert County Government's Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Calvert County MD, on Instagram at Calvert Broadcast, on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Calvert County Gov, and our official website, www.calvertcountymd.gov. Thank you.